Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to a Monday edition of AwesomeCallsTrading.com. I'm AJ. I'm your host for the next eight to ten minutes. Well, today, um, today was KRTX today, and I know a lot of you are in rooms uh, that just don't play BIOS, FDAs, and you know it, it isn't uh, unfortunate. Um, I'd be playing a stock right now if I didn't have to do this webinar. I called, uh, I think it was KRTX from 85, 86. I told traders you could just buy 100 shares and it'll go to 94. I just kind of want you to see what just happened. It hit 94. You see that? From down here. So if you had 100 shares, you could have made $600. Just on that. If you had traded all day, you could just made six hundred dollars. And now it's going to go to this ninety-six and then top off at that ninety-eight. Anyway, this was a great trade today. Uh, nice. Uh, it wasn't a big flow. Uh, the news came out. Uh, what made this work was the the couple things. Um, first off, uh, this particular positive information was it's it's good for uh alzheimer's disease psychosis uh psychosis they call it alzheimer's is in that category of like cancer um tuberculosis uh heart attack lung i mean it's up there and we know how unfortunate some people have alzheimer's how important a drug is so this is why it's significant news. Now, I want you to see how we played this amazing stock in our room live. And actually, not just us. There were literally 15 rooms feeding off our energy today, watching us how we played this, and then took it in their rooms. And it's pretty evident. Some people traded it at 56 a share. We started this at $31.75. That's where we started our, our journey on this stock. Okay? And I'll tell you a couple things how it worked out for us and why it worked out so significant. First, the great Janny uh, in pre-market was guiding traders into profitability. You see this double top in pre-market at this 36.50. He saw this and he immediately called for a pull short at around $36 and it yanked all the way to six. And look at the timeline because this was pre-market at 5:15 in the morning Pacific time, and it yanked to 29 by the time uh, about five, about 10 minutes to six, which is right here. I came in the room and the stock was sitting at 30. Okay, and like I, like as I'm talking to you now, if I did not own a chat room, I would have been trading this with a thousand shares. And see the stock now 96. That's ten thousand dollars I could be making. You see this move here? It's trying to fill that gap to 98. You see it? And I gave it to the chat room at, what, 86 on this flag breakout. I said, this is going. Okay. So going back to us. Okay, so this play right here, all right? So I called, I told traders in pre-market um, that this stock out more than 2013. Good job, boss. This one right here. Would be your buying opportunity 31.75 and i started writing the notes and at the open i would say buy that buy that 31.75 32. from there i said the stock would run to 40 or more okay here's the 40. now i want you to watch carefully at 644 right here it got popped then it pulled down right around here see the 644 area right here all right, see this? It's right here. This pop right there. Uh, Dave the Trader, one of our amazing alerts uh, moderators in here, gave us a Goldman call. Now, the Goldman on the wires, I didn't see it come out until six, till eight minutes later. We got it in here seven, eight minutes before it hit the wire. I was just, I don't know what wire service he uses, but man, oh man, oh man, oh man. And the target went up to 109. Right then, I said, traders, going to 60, at least $60 a share. And it just ran all the way up to 60, almost 58, 59 right there. Kept going, topped off at 64 and came down really nice, a 10-point pullback. 
when I left to go on break, it started grinding out. You see the grind out, how it pulled, and it started grinding. When you get a grind like that, that's a flag basing for another move to the upside. Okay, the great dark side called for a long off that base at 65 he was calling i believe 75 a share and he walked it up in the room and then it pulled down as you can see and then he ran it again all the way to 100. i mean he just did a phenomenal job guiding traders because i was watching people still continue to make money so we love bio trades in here we love bio stocks we love fda we feed off that we are the big phase two primary endpoint group in here i mean we know this stuff so good, better than any bio room. I can tell you that straight up. I've been doing this for 16 years. And this was a just, this is what you call a game changer where you just, you just, you come in there and you buy 100 shares, 200 shares, 300 shares, 500 shares. You do what you don't normally do and you just do it. And you feed off of that and you watch pros making money. There are some people that made millions on this stock millions um and of course every paper trader that paper traded it outside our room did wonderful i mean they're all winners probably posting 40 50 000 gains uh paper you can there's there's no emotion but in here oh it was all emotion <laughs> i guess we were oh my god you just see me and uh and the one thing that we all said uh, when it w kept moving was we left it all, so much on the table, left so much on the table. But you know what? I keep preaching. That's a problem to have. You want to be in a room where you leave so much on the table. So it was a wonderful trade. The next stock that we did today um, was uh, Netflix. Netflix was just a pure winner. This one I caught in the morning in pre-market. Um, and there were a couple of rooms that copied this play and put it in their room this morning. Um, but for us, we had it in early. In pre-market, I determined that the low, the, that they had really, they had an, uh, uh, an investor come on that has moved a lot of stocks. And he basically made it clear that he felt uh, Netflix was going to be the next one that Bill Eichmann or Kai Akon was going to take significant um, stake in the company. So... I analyzed his what he was saying. I listened to it. And I said, you know what? Watch for a gap fill at 293, pull at the open, and then long the stock through 300. And that was the call. Um, you could have played massive contracts, calls, whatever you wanted to do. And here was the pull at the open. There's 293.28 per my notes. And then long it to 300. Within probably 30 minutes, you hit 300. And then just a few more minutes later, an hour later, you hit 304, 305. Just a, a wonderful trade, well done. Um, I was really pleased with how I called it out in the room. I really walked it up. Uh, really, really impressive. Another trade we did today was LK. Uh, this was a trade that was going on on Friday. You could see it had a massive move from, uh, you could see on Friday from, you know, early in, in, in $20, $22 a share. Ran all day Friday. Well, Based on my experience, I was watching how it was just being traded in pre-market. And you know what? I, I just I said, you know what? This is going to squeeze again. I'm sorry. This is not a short fade back to 23. This is going to squeeze. So I literally immediately started typing, uh, LK will pull it open to 25 when it does long stock. And watch it squeeze. And it hit 25 on the money. It was one of the most... It was just an incredible call, and it just squeezed. I mean, you couldn't stop it. I had it going to 27, maybe 28, but, geez, this thing ran all the way to 30. I mean, it was just, <laughs> what a trade. It was epic. Um, another stock that we did today was uh, Splunk and Five. These were two really good plays today. Um, and they're actually swing ideas for uh, option players and equity players. Um, Splunk is coming out next Thursday, and I'll give you a little for you outside our room that are listening to this. There's two analysts predicting that Splunk is going to make a move into earnings to the upside. Now, if you remember, Splunk has um, really got killed on the last earnings report right here. You see it? It just got smashed. I mean, it was literally smashed. 
um and uh it, it it just it got killed it got killed here at 140 and then on earnings it just went from 141 to 108 i mean it took a bath but it found support at the 10 uh, 107 area as you could see um and now analysts are predicting a move to the upside two of them a tier two and a tier one analyst so for us in the room it was pretty simple there's the gap up we called for a pull at the open to 120.50 roughly and then along to 123 all the way up to 125 and the stock hit 125 uh, i think it'll hit 120.58 five was another good one we had this going to a pop at the open to 124 or more and a pullback to one i was looking for 120.50 which was right above where it started in pre-market uh, but it found a nice base at 121. They, the market makers didn't want it to go below, so it was just pretty defined to go long. I think uh, five is going to be a solid win into 130, 135 over the next few days. I've played this before many times. All right, so those were those. Five and Splunk. Um, another one we did today was um drana drana was a really good call today in our chat room um i had drana based on the news and collaboration i had drana popping at the open in, at at the open to 2350. um i did my homework did my research and i said drana traders this will pop at the open to 2350. And when it does, scale in short and then short the stock. I think over the next two days, it'll come down to 21, 20. Uh, but here's the 21, 2350 area right there is your short, as my notes. And it is now going down to 21.68. So almost a two-point pullback already on that one. So that was a really good one. And then on the side, I did another one called uh, MTEM. This was uh, for, I have a lot of small cap traders in the chat room that like to short these kind of plays. Uh, this was a collaboration. I wasn't impressed with it. I made it the number one stock to short and to play. So I called for a short at 830 and then any move to the upside towards 850. I did think, I did prepare traders because it was up thin. I said, if it does pop to 850, it will go to nine. But at the end of the day, the stock will fade back down to 750 and under. And this fully gap filled and came under to seven. So if you took the trade with decent size, uh, you really banked very good. And here's the 726 area. See the gap fill? And the 750 area came right here uh, within the first six minutes of the opening bell. And then it just didn't have anything to hold on. It was done. So that was a really good one for us in the chat room. So, okay. So we had many more plays. We had EIDX, Workday, um, ESTC, uh, INMD. Uh, but these are the ones that really kind of stood out that were really easy to play, fun to play. But the, the, the today it was, it was, it was KRTX. And I wish everyone could have made money on this trade and not everyone did because a lot of people just clearly don't understand this trade so it is unfortunate um i do want to give props to adam news um uh, in the room um adam called out abmd this morning before the headlines hit so i will make this a chart um he took this trade right around i believe it was 207 area um, there was some significant news that came out. I'll show it to you on ABMD. It was right here. Um, right there. See it? Um, study shows pump tied to more adverse events. Okay, from Bloomberg. He rolled that out uh, this morning at uh, about 6.40. And uh, I believe it was right here. And then right here is where he hit the, I think it was 1017, uh, device increased to risk of death and bleeding and stroke. That is not good at all. And you can see what he did. This was all Adam. A lot of traders didn't take it because they were trading KRTX. But I noticed what he did. 
And so I thought that was an incredible call by him. Um, Adam, remind me, uh, could you quickly, uh, was the alert about right here? At the 209, 210, I think? I think that's where you were, uh, I mean, you just started selling off from day one. So I have to scroll up, but I do know it was right around. Anyway, stock should sell off some more probably the next few days. Anyway, hey, that was today's action. A lot of fun today. But the play of the day, KRTX. Game-changing event, game-changing. What can I tell you? It was fun. It was amazing. Uh, big payday for a lot of people in the chat room. And uh, you know what I, I do love to say is one of the things that our room does is we're not here to hit home runs. And so many people are trying to hit home runs when they play these things. And sometimes, you know, you get shaken out and you end up losing your account. But we don't. We're very consistent. We get what we want. We make our goal. We're done. We move on. We don't go back and go, I wish I could have, I can't, wow, oof, we, wow, maybe we should have, could have stayed. That's not what it's about. In order to survive in day trading world, you have to be consistent. Once you make your money, be disciplined, get out of the room, move on another day. And uh, Home runners, they don't last. They might hit it out and then lose, take all that money they make and then lose it over the, the week because they're not disciplined. And here we teach discipline and uh, to be consistent so you live another day uh, so many traders they come in here and they'll buy one stock and look at the idea and then put their whole life savings on it and then it pops on them and then they're broke and then they blame you i mean blame what what are you blaming i didn't tell you to put your life savings in one stock i mean i mean it's just i mean just it's just another trade i mean did you you know it's a great call on netflix did you put your life savings in that it's a great call to go long at 32 on KRTX. You put your life, there's no reason to that. You don't have to do that. Just live another day. And that's what day trading is. And learn from each trade that you do. And that's what makes you a better trader. So, okay. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us on our webinar. I look forward to trading with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.